Hey, this is Royce Davis Fly Fishing, and today we are going to tie a uh, PMD merger. And this one is a size, it's actually on a size 12 hook, but tie it for a size 14 PMD uh, that I'll be fishing this weekend at the Silver Creek on the opener. To fly, I like to drop uh, PMD uh, nymphs or pheasant tails off the back of it, and so fish dry dropper with this one. So I like it that it's nice and uh, floats good, and you can put a lot of floating on it to keep, uh, keep it floating for an indicator as well as a dry fly. So I'll show you how we do that, and happy fishing. Okay, today we're going to tie the PMD dry fly emerger. And we use the size 12 curved uh, hook, which this one is the U201. Thread is camel in 8 aught or any brown thread that you have would work fine. And then we tie in the tail or the shuck. We use the PMD shuck is actually what it's called, Antron. Tie that out the back for the tail. What I do is I make a loop. Tie that loop into the thread and you can see it there. I'll actually do that twice. Stick those two loops out the back. Next I have uh, stripped goose bites from Nature Spirit in Pale Morning Dunn. And I'll take, strip off two of those bites, tie them in with their tips, with the bend of those bites towards me. We want to tie these in so they wrap in nice and flat without the ribbing. And I'll take my hackle pliers, Grab the bias, and then I will wrap or twist my vise forward, wrapping in the bias like so. Tie off the bias, and then next, what I'll do is I'll take those two looped threads twist them and then wrap them the opposite direction of the bias like so making a brown ribbing trim off that and then I will take the uh, hairline parachute post that's been treated with watershed and I will tie in like so out the, the section out the front and then what I like to do is I make a little loop and tie the back end of the, the parachute post out the front so I have two sections the next I will wrap in front of those parachute posts and parachute, get them to stick up by wrapping in front of them. Next I'll wrap around the parachute post just go up about oh, I don't know, a little ways there trim it so it gets out of the way and then I will tie in some gray, light gray, dry fly hackle. And then I use PMD yellow, fine and dry dubbing. So I'll dub on some dubbing. one wrap behind the post and then I like to make a wrap behind the, the little loop. Again that loop will kind of help help it float better too. So 
tie in a nice dubbing ball. And next, if it's, I will wrap the hackle. And if it's not too short, I'll just use my fingers. I won't use a hackle pliers. And I do four or five wraps. Again, I want it to float good, so you want to make sure you have nice, lots of hackle on there. And tie off the hackle. Trim the hackle. And I will whip finish. I'll just grab the hackle, pull it back. Whip finish. Trim my thread. And I will trim my parachute post a little shorter, like so. Adjust my hackle a little bit. Trim any stragglers. And good, finished. So there is the PMD parachute. A merger that I like to fish, so easy to see the nice white parachute. And then I use the little um, parachute post I caught a little hump, I guess, the humpback there to help it float as well. So put some nice floating on it and then drop a, a nymph off the back or fish it straight up dry. So again, this is Royce Davis, fly fishing and happy fishing.